Hi everyone and welcome to week 8. This week we are looking at two topics. The first of those is activism and the second is citizen journalism. This week I'm going to ask you to choose one of those two topics to explore in detail, but there is a key reading for each and I'd like you to make sure you read the key reading for the topic you aren't exploring in detail. These topics are related so that there's some crossover between them, um, but they are also distinct in that the activist topic is really looking at how you can um, or how people can use social media for causes, while the citizen journalism topic is looking at how social media um, can report on things that are happening. Now, sometimes, of course, citizen journalism um, will be reporting on things that are happening with activism, and so that's where that crossover comes in. So uh, choose one of the topics to read in detail and to write about this week. Now your reflect activity for this week is a bit of a primer for your third assignment which is a case study on a social media event or something that unfolded in social media. So this week you'll be able to take a look at um, something relating to activism or to citizen journalism and then that will kind of help you to understand the processes you need to go through to investigate your event for assignment three and how you might actually report on that. So it's kind of a bit like a practice exercise for A3 in a way. This week we don't have a class, instead we're having our poster exhibition on Friday night at 6pm. I've made the time 6pm till 8pm but um, we'll get all the kind of formalities out of the way in the first hour so that you can take off whenever you need to. So um, please RSVP using uh, Eventbrite. I've put up a link to that on the unit site so that you can um, go ahead and RSVP. Um, I'm ask asking you to RSVP for catering purposes. You're welcome to bring other people too. Please just let me know so I can make sure there is enough pizza to go around. Your posters will be displayed on the cube for the two hours and we'll have a period of voting in which you guys will be able to vote for your um, for the poster that you think has the best content and also for the poster that has your favourite design, so the one that um, you really like the design of. The prizes will be gift vouchers for online stores and the recipients will be able to choose what online store their voucher is for. We'll also be awarding another prize once we've marked the assignments to the person who gets the highest grade, so that will be like the teaching team prize for the posters. So I also wanted to talk to you about last week's resources and I did put up a blog post about this but I just want to touch on it again in case you didn't see it. Um, I did promise to put up some extra resources last week about different theories that you could apply in your activity for week seven and it completely slipped my mind. So I'm really sorry about that and I'm going to pop those resources up today for you um, so that you've got some other theories to choose from. Because I did that, I'm going to let you have until the end of week nine to make your post for week seven theory topic um, so that gives you an extra week um, to think about how you're going to apply those theories in your blog post. Um, so that will mean you'll have your week seven and week eight acti activities due at the end of week nine. Now something else is happening at the end of week nine and that is your first checkpoint for marking of your blog post. So at the end of week nine we are going to start marking your posts from week two through to week eight and you will be able to um, get some feedback back from us then and some marks back um, for part of the assignment one learning blog. Between now and then, I recommend that you spend some time polishing up your blog posts to make sure that they are in the best possible shape, ready for us to mark them. I'm going to make a couple of blog posts in the next week or so about um, some tips for how you can quickly improve your blog posts to help you polish them up ready for marking. Um, but please also refer back to all of the posts that we wrote um, earlier in the semester and the pieces of content around the site related to critical reflection. Remember there is a link to critical reflection in the bar navigation bar on the unit site. So you can go straight there and see all the posts related to critical reflection that will help you with um, polishing up your blog posts for marking. Okay, so I think that's it from me for this week. I hope to see many of you on Friday night at the Cube at 6 p.m. Don't forget to RSVP um, and it should be a good night. Have a great week, guys.